Hey everyone, it's Nelson here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to solve a little problem. When we make a theme builder header fixed, so you know we have the header at the top, when it's fixed, and we're scrolling down the page, it, it actually overlaps the top section of our page. So my solution is very quick and easy, and it actually automatically calculates how much it needs to adjust. So I'm really excited to show you this. There's no other solution out there for this, so I'm really excited. Let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here I am with my example. So I'm gonna go and show you this header here in the theme builder. So I have a custom header. If you don't know where that's at, um, you probably wanna look at some of my other tutorials on creating a fixed header. So I have one on how to create a fixed header how to create a transparent header, how to shrink the header when scrolling, how to change the background color when scrolling, all that good stuff. So anyway, I have built my header section here in the theme builder and I have it fixed. So what I mean by that is in the advanced tab of the section, I have the position set to fixed. Okay, and, and that means I want it to stay at the top when I'm scrolling. So here you can see as I scroll, it stays at the top. But you can also see the problem. Because it's staying fixed, it's cutting off my page. And so you can, you know, it's very clear here that, that it's cutting it off. It goes up all the way to the top of this black section. So I'm just showing you this here to point out that it's it's definitely cutting this off. Now, some people have different solutions. I've seen people say, well, you gotta add some CSS and you got to make your entire page content target that class and move the whole thing down and calculate the height of this header section and offset it and then I saw some people say well just go in here and you know just go into your to your padding and add more padding you know like this you know just just move it down some like that um some people say well you know just just add some padding you know go in here like this um just add a bunch of margin well you're guessing and it's inefficient and it's rather stupid to do that I like things easy so let's show you an easy way so if you're watching this on YouTube you need to go over to my blog so the link is down below go over to the blog post and the reason is because here's this wonderful little snippet that is going to solve our problems okay so the premise for this you have to have the theme builder set up it has to be using a theme builder you have to have it set to fixed Okay, like I showed you. All right, so let's grab this snippet and copy it and go back into our the website where we want this. Go over here to the Divi theme options and we're going to be adding this in the integrations tab. So up here in theme options, integration, and then this first section here, it says add code to the head of your blog. Go down, if you already have code in there, that's fine, go below it and we're gonna paste our snippet. Okay, so let's paste that in here and click the green Save Changes button. So what it's doing is this jQuery is saying, okay, find the theme builder header, find the height of that thing is what it's doing, and then you know figure out the total height in pixels, and then move, or, or sorry, add a padding top to the main content of your page all right so basically it's saying go in here and figure out how high this is and then move the entire page down that amount okay so that's what it's doing that's um let's get out of here and and refresh the page and see if it works and there you go folks it works so you can see i have my entire header here everything's situated just right the entire page has moved down the exact height of this black thing. Now you may be wondering, well, what, what if I, you know, what if I change the height of that menu bar? Um, will it adjust with it? Well, absolutely, it's going to adjust automatically because that's what we had the code. So if you make this, you know, like half as high as what it is now, that's okay. Let's go in here to the row. That's, that would be an easy way of making this smaller. Go to spacing, let's go put a zero on our padding like that. 
something like that. Let's go ahead and save this and we'll go take a look at our page. There you go. And again, it auto adjusts. All right, so be sure to check out our other header tutorials. They're all gonna be really helpful. They all kind of go along with it. In fact, here you can see some of them, shrinking the header, mega menus, fancy stuff with the hamburger menus, um, fixed and changing color and transparent and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's how you automatically solve the fixed header problem. If you enjoy that, please subscribe. Uh, we have been doing tutorials every Tuesday and then some like quicker tips slash tutorials on Thursdays. So we've been releasing at least two Divi videos each week, and we're going to keep doing that. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.